Aloha. I'm Patrice Faderspiel, and I paint the essence of living aloha here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, you've heard of aloha, but what is the essence of living aloha? Well, I paint the energy of aloha. I paint the life force of aloha. Aloha is really a way of life, and it's a, it's a meaning of being connected with your real self, your inner self, and bringing that out in life. We see that all the time. The, the trees couldn't be trees if they weren't connected to being their treeness. The flowers are the flowers of beauty because that's what they want to be. I started to paint the essence of aloha nine years ago, and I started out by painting flowers. This is one of my recent flower paintings. My new style is I'm calling hide and seek watercolors because I start with an idea I put the paper flat in my studio. I layer it with crepe paper and gauze and jute and finally paint, and then I let it dry. Once it's dry, I lift all of the crepe paper and the jute and the gauze off the painting, and I'm left with a skeleton, and it's up to me to find my painting again, to seek it out. When I'm at that point, I bring it out in public, and I do the rest of the painting in public. That way, People get to watch me paint. They get to experience the magic of painting. And they get to see the painting emerge. It's a lot more fun that way. Painting can be very solitary, but because I'm painting in public, I get to be with people most of the time. This is another of my florals. This is an orchid. Wherever you see the white, I did not put any paint on the paper. Once I was worked my way through the florals, I decided to try a little figurative work to see what I could do with that. This painting is called Spirit of the Land. When I started her out, I thought she was going to be called Giving Thanks because that's the expression that I wanted to portray. But she turned into be more of a painting about the land as well as giving thanks. And so she is the spirit of the land. Next, I worked with the spirit of the dance. And you can see the energy of this dancer in her hands, in her feet, in the movement of the air around her. Dance is a very expressive means of sharing aloha with the world. Then I thought, why not have a little fun? Let's have some whimsy. This is a mermaid. This one's called Distant Shores, and the mermaid is on the western shores of Oahu, looking across the water at Diamond Head. This painting is Mama's Little Mermaid. The surprise for me in this painting was when I was all finished, I could see little hearts in the tail of the baby mermaid as he's, she's about to kiss Mama. I like the fact that my paintings surprise me as I go. My most recent series is a series of tree divas, or tree spirits. We have some of the most sculptural trees in the world here, and whenever I pass them by, I see people in the trunks. This one is called Enveloping the Sun. This one is The Earth is My Body, My Head is in the Stars. And over here on my easel, is a painting in progress. This one has the couple embracing in the trunk of the tree, and I'm yet to find out what I will locate in the canopy above. As I said, my paintings keep me guessing, and that's part of keeping them alive. It's important to me to keep my paintings alive so that when people see my paintings, they feel that energy, and it gets echoed back in them and for them. It's such a joy and a gift and an honor to be able to paint here in Honolulu. And I thank you for paying attention and watching. Mahalo.